Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world today. I hope you are okay. So let's just come into some market update right now. Clearly, the Republicans are looking good to take this election. On that note, I just want to say there's something called buy the, hi buy the hype and sell the news. This is what happens, I guess, when there's a big event. Guys get hyped up, so they buy the hype, and when the news gets launched, instead of holding a position and letting it ride, generally they sell out and then the market can kind of crash for that reason. So I actually don't know when the election results will be. I'll have a quick look over here. Okay, there's no obvious um, answer out there, so I'm not going to waste too much time, but basically, what we want to do is use the market to ascertain when it is a good idea to sell out, take profit. You can see I'm about 1,600 profits on um, yesterday's position that I'd open up over here. And then at least we've known we've maximized that transition for good amounts of uh, profit, even if it's not the ideal amount of profit. Closing in for a solid amount is uh, still safe and smart trading. So together what I'm gonna do is just set this up real quick and just identify the recent highs and lows. This will give us the ability to forecast the future of price action before it happens in these live market conditions. But things are looking pretty positive for the right wing or the right, which I'm super stoked about. I think the left have been too demonic for too long. And that's just my political opinion, not that anyone wants it, but it's just seeing all of the obvious common sense stuff, the world would have gone to a very, very dark place. I think if the, what I kind of call the Avengers didn't step up. All right, so here we go. That's your marks of the recent highs and lows. And then basically what I do from here is go through the MTOPS uh, strategy. Let me just get it, uh, put it up real quick. There she is. Good day, mate. All right, let's take those off and let's have a look at whether or not we should close the trade or keep it going. So systematically going through the checklist one by one, we look at the trend direction. So trend direction, obviously with this breaking the two recent highs um, is a dominant trend directional change. And also if you look at the higher frame, it's going to pop off over there as well, which it has. So we're in an uptrend, all right? So higher, um, highs as an uptrend turning point spacing so you'll learn about this in uh, my course if you ever decide to take it so this looks really good from a turning point spacing perspective where the low is formed in relation to quadrant one is strong um, the scaling is what we're after right now so let's have a look at that All right, that's a bit conservative. Let's try extend that. I don't know if that's a double bottom over there, but I'm gonna leave it as is. Let's, ex yeah, let's get a exaggeratory. Now nah, I've decided to go somewhere in the middle with it. Again, when you take the course, you'll understand exactly what it is I'm doing. All right, so this is interesting. So we've got a progression quite high up already along this, um, along this fan line over here. I suppose it's always good to kind of neaten things up just a bit. Maybe we should do the same. 
if you're following along. There we go. So what I'm looking for is interactions at all the key points. So where it, uh, that's quite interesting. I mentioned yesterday that some kind of people um, speak about the three little birds thing where there's three moving candles to the upside. So they pretty much are going to pop a bottle of champagne to say that they were correct on this. But all it is is just higher lows forming along a fan line and moving up. Man, I know too much. <laughs> I'm just so irritated that not everyone knows this kind of stuff. But I guess I can't uh, change anything about that unless people want to uh, improve themselves. Okay, so there's an invisible line between these two lines. I don't keep it in, um, but you'll see over there how it interacts. It's just kind of ad hoc. I don't necessarily like to keep tons of fans and lines over there. So when I see it forming a bit of a ghost kind of cling, then I place it down and then nine times out of 10, you'll see that there is a story to be told on it. Um, all right, so let's get back into the analysis. So scaling is pretty good for now. Uh, kill zone we've spoken about and the reason why not to open up a trading kill zone what's its purpose is there's a story behind it what nominates it uh, fan line it wants to go along and fan lines are basically the support lines so you see over here there's a lot of uh, interaction where my mouse is along the fan line that's going up there right and that's where the predominant energy actually landed up going is in this direction so if you've got price action heading down that you'll learn about it in the course i don't want to overwhelm you all right so um Time projection, let's have a look at what's. Gotcha. So basically what I'm after is just to keep ahead of the curve during these volatile times. Because so as you can see, $1,500 just on spot trading. It's not even leverage. This is just regular buy low, sell high stuff. Nothing complex at all. Nothing, nothing leverage, nothing like 10x, 50x, 100x. Um, it's just normal vanilla cut and dry boring trading as up fifteen hundred dollars and I just left it overnight basically I mean it's pretty cool um, and that's of course for this leap competition normally I would obviously use prop firm money on leverage okay so I think we I think I'm gonna ride this one out for a while as it looks like these two lines converge. Another word for converges, line up neatly. Let me just use my um, original to me discovery. Like I've used some GAN stuff and I've drawn on some um, influences, but the kill zone is completely me. There's a whole bunch of like completely original to me stuff uh, that I've contributed to, I guess, the world. <laughs> if you want to look at it that way, and the world of trading. Um, and one of them is the cube root. So let's go down here. Let's have a look. Got 40 bars. Smack that in there. And we're going to get to around about 32. All right. So looking at this option here, 32. If I draw that out. I don't always do this every single time. It's just when it's kind of high stakes. So that's 32. So we got three confirmations, more or less, the price may continue up here. If I bring it down a bit just to see whether or not it wants to stop early, there is an argument to that because of this midway line over there. So I think mostly because it's simulated money, I'm just going to um, just allow it to ride. If it goes down, not ah, too bad, but... Um, yeah, I think not only will I let it ride, I'll just let it ride until the election results are known. Because right now, this is hype. This is speculation that the Republicans are going to take it. So once the announcement is made, whatever the, the announcement is, I'm selling out, locking in that profit, and then waiting for the markets to stabilize again. So if you want to follow that lead, kind of highly recommended, but obviously it's your money, so you do you. <laughs> Okay, 10 minutes. Done cube root. The oscillator is opening up, so there's no sign of switching. It's losing some momentum over here. Um, something to keep an eye on, but I suppose the market's got to go up and the market's got to go down. You can't have a market just going up and up and up and up and up because it wouldn't be a market then. 
All right, so from a price perspective, um, I, yeah, I think it's got the power to continue going up. I think we could see higher 70. So any so a price over 7,500, depending again on when the election results get uh, released. And then the fan line R curve, we've got here a movement to the upside. And right now it's just kind of hanging in the air. So I think it needs just to kind of take a breather and then get a second wind. Uh, but it looks like that's the dominant trend direction. So in terms of the arc curve and the price projection, where it's going to land up, it's either going to be where the mouse is right now. So this is arc four or potentially where the mouse is over there, arc five on that one. I think I'm going to leave it there. Um, I've got to save my energy for a ton of other things today. A lot of very exciting things, man. I actually lay up at night, just like, just so excited about life. Always remember to lock your screen so you don't lose your ratio. And then over here, I'm just going to leave this for now. Um, I think you guys saw pretty much what the setup was. I'm just going to loosely put this down just for future reference. Um, I'm not going to go through the full MTOPS analysis just yet. As again, like MTOPS works in all time frames and all markets in the same exact way. And that's like, that's when you know you're working with a genius method. It's a fractal operation. Um, it's not like these other finicky strategies where you gotta look for like the magic hen to jump over the rainbow before you get into a trade. It's like, it's just systematic. It works time and time again. And again, obviously I called this way before it happened, days before it happened. Even when it slid out, I said, well, I was going to slid out. It's such power. It's just such power. And then, yeah, so it's just running to there. Uh, we're going to see if it wants to get to over here, the fifth arc, which I think kind of aligns with there. It seems like it's a similar scaling. In fact, if I can't compare the two, but I don't necessarily want to rush anything right now. Our is opening up. Um, I just want to see when exactly the elections will be announced. And then after that, gone, right? Hmm. There's obviously a lot more to say, but I know my, my videos are pretty overwhelming and I cover a lot of topics. It's just coming from a place of, I want you to know as much as possible, just so you're prepared as much as possible. Um, I know the correct structure is to have the intro and the body and the outro and to talk about one topic and nothing else so that you can get that slowly integrated and then we move on to the next video but i don't work that way i work at a thousand miles an hour because um it's a very intricate industry and i don't like being left behind i'm sure you don't either so i hope that's okay with you also if you want to get a personal opinion as to where you're on your trade journey and get you prepared for the markets that are about to fire up especially should the should the republicans take office then it's best you reach out to me. Let's get you prepared for what could be the biggest bull run across 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 all uh, styles of markets that you may see in your lifetime. That's all for now. Ciao.